Hi, I'm Adam Scott, and these are very important questions. Which cast member of Party Down did you miss the most? I missed all of them. I think, you know, I think when we ended up shooting the new season and I was standing there with Ken Marino on the first day of shooting, and it was a Henry Ron scene, and we were actually doing it, and the cameras were actually uh, on, and we were standing there in front of a party down van, and I was watching Ken act like Ron Donald, <laughs> who is such an, just, Ken describes him as a do to do which I had never heard before. I was like, what, what is he? He's like, he's a do to do And he's right, he's, Ron Donald is a do to do He's just, you don't want to, he's not an idiot because look what he's done, but he's kind of an idiot, but he's not, he's a do to do And there is nothing funnier to me, nothing funnier than, than Ron Donald, than Ken Marino doing Ron Donald. So in that moment, watching him, I was like, I've never missed anyone more than Ken Marino doing Ron Donald. And then we went upstairs and shot scene with everybody and they were all standing in a row in that first episode playing those characters. And I realized I, I, I missed these people, but I also missed how it feels to be with them when they're playing these ridiculous people. What have you stolen from set? I'm a bit of a rule follower as far as that stuff goes. Like I don't take clothes if there's clothing I want, I ask if I can buy it, and then thinking like maybe they'll just say I can have it, and usually it's neither. When Parks and Rec ended, I took some Ben Wyatt business cards, and I just had them, I had like a little stack of them, and they just ended up in the trunk of my car, and sometimes if there was, if I met someone who's a huge Parks and Rec fan, or talked to someone who's like, my daughter loves the show or whatever, I would go, hold on, I would run to my car and grab one of those business cards and give them to them. And then now I have one left and I'm gonna hang on to it. Um, I have the Ben Wyatt's nameplate from from the show that was on, a, on, on my desk on the show, so I have that. There was an episode where there was a full, like full human-sized paper mache um, like body of, I think it was supposed to look like my character on Park, on Ben Wyatt, and it was like hanging from a thing. It was, and it was terrifying looking. And when the show ended, we were joking about like who gets the Ben Wyatt corpse thing. And, uh, and a couple weeks after we wrapped, um, it was on my front porch. I have the, um, the set for the stop the claymation video that Ben Wyatt uh, produced in Parks and Rec. I have the bedroom set with the uh, claymation dolls. That's a cool thing to have. It takes up a lot of room. Okay, be honest, do you read reviews? It depends what it is. Uh, I still have not read one severance review. I don't, I didn't read par, uh, um, party down reviews. I think as I've gotten Older. When I first like got on TV and stuff, I would just scour looking for, see if I was mentioned or see if anyone thought I was any good. Um, and I think that maybe uh, led me down the wrong road a couple of times and, and it ended up, I think, I think either a good review or a bad review is not great for, for your head. I don't think either does you any good. Okay. Would Ben Wyatt get along with Henry Pollard? That's a good question. Um, that's a very, very important question. I think that Ben Wyatt and Henry Pollard would be able to find common ground. I think Henry Henry Pollard's maybe a bit of a, of a downer compared with uh, Ben Wyatt. I think you know Ben Wyatt has his moments uh, of, of feeling like all is lost. I think that they'd be best friends. <laughs> 